Series finale, the Bulldogs from La Tech hoping to salvage a game and the Arkansas Razorbacks from Hunter Holland. They're trying to provide a three game sweep. Hunter Holland's gonna wanna have that command that McIntyre had yesterday. He'll throw that fastball in the low to mid 90s. Has a big sweeping break. Body, so a really tough time to pick up the baseball. That's a wave and a miss by Myers. Holland kept working in. Really kind of solidified that Sunday spot. They dump in the center. Josenberger will take it on a bounce. So, pretty good at bat for Hogarth. And for a team that had three hits yesterday. One on, one out. We're just underway. Pitches hit well. Tag towards right center. Josenberger gliding over. By the way, Hogarth forgets how many outs there are. He can't believe it. So, Josenberger flips it back to Slavens. That's going to be a double play. Hogarth was at third base, and he put both of his hands on his head as if to say, no! Josenberger gets the outfield assist. Clip him on the shoe, it did. That combined for 27 home runs, that duo. Boy, Roland just kind of whiffed on that one. Soft little cue shot, that has some spin to it. Bolton will field and flip. Retire Matulia. Body. Chopper to third, a little bit of a snow cone there from Holt. He's gonna throw home, but that was not the decision, I don't believe. And the Bulldogs will get the run. Bates strokes one to right center field. This ball will drop. Evans will go to third. Bates will hold with a long single. And there's Bulldogs on the corner. Now the bases are loaded. Might have to make a mound visit here just to kind of take the temperature of Holland. And bases full of Bulldogs. My goodness. That's the third hit batter this inning. And the second run will come across. Big 2-1 pitch. Chopper, not a double play grounder. Bolt will take the out at first. Myers retired, but Bates scores. 3-0 Bulldogs. And two more runners move up to scoring position. To end the top of the second. Strike three call. Holland needed that one. Eight batters come to the plate. For La Tech, three score, and the Razorbacks have some work to do with their back. Two, 12 runs batted in. Drives one to right again. This one has a little top spin, so it hits the fence. Forfeit's going to have to race to second base. Matulia's throw is offline. That is the 20th hit of the year. Borfin has reached base in 13 straight the games. Dirt, something scoots by. Soft ground ball up the middle. This will produce a run. McLeod can't come up with it cleanly. Hogs are on the board, and Holt reaches first. Just, it's just, it just gets you in your routine. That could have been Hunter Holland's best batter right there. Big chopper. Slavens will take it. Flips to Holland. Covering foot race. And my goodness, I thought maybe Matulia had won the race, but punched out. Of the 27 outs were either via the pop-up or ground ball. I mean, excuse yeah. me, fly ball. That's fair into the corner. <laughs> Josenberger is going to cruise to second base with a leadoff double. A great deal of pride that you were able to give everybody a rest when you throw nine innings. That one lifted in the air to right. Get going. Wagner, Go legs. does he have another? Yeah! Goodbye. Jared Wagner, an opposite field home run, number seven. Troy, we were talking about his ability to shoot the ball the other way when teams have pitched him out and just hit one out. Well, just talk about the tremendous power of Jared Wagner, the guy that just, he just, his, his ball sounds different in the batting cage and just the mm -hmm. tremendous power he has. I, I, I honestly don't know how he made it on campus. He's a, <laughs> that's a grown man right there. and. He just, he just hits the ball super hard. <laughs> oh, I've said the same thing. You use your own facilities. Here's the 3-1 to Jace, and that one's down. Diggs sends one down the line and right. Into the corner. That's a fair ball. That's a two-run homer. Kendall Diggs with number six. Just like that, the Razorbacks have put five runs on the board. That's what Kendall Diggs does, and just an outstanding job to keep those hands inside the baseball. That pitch right there is really easy, Brett, to hook foul in, in quite a ways foul, but he pulls those hands inside the baseball and he catches the barrel. 
Thing's going to travel in threes. That ball, shot to right center field, hit well. Hogar turning and running. That's off the top of the fence, and it lands on the track. Holt's going to have three bases. Loses that helmet, goes in sliding with a triple. That one hit the fence. That ball was 104 off the bat from Peyton Holt. Center field just last inning. Now take ball four. So that means Bolton will be the ninth. Old Dominion, 3-1 pitch. That's outside this ball four. So Tompkins has come in and he has walked both batters here a while back. It's ball four. That is three straight walks after the two out triple by Holt. Not sure what you do here. Bases full of Razorbacks. They'll remain loaded, but after another bases loaded walk. And Wagner, who just hit a two-run homer this inning, is going to bat again. See how aggressive Wagner wants to be. It doesn't matter. That is three straight bases loaded walks. Razorbacks just kicked the extra point this inning. That is run number seven. This has been about an hour-long third. That's a liner to center, dropping, base hit. It's going to score. Both Josenberger and Stovall and the Razorbacks have put a huge number up on the board. It is a nine-run third inning. Bates singled last inning will wave and miss. Down on strikes. That is the fourth K for Holland. Series two out of three always makes you feel good no matter what. But when you win the first two, you get a little bit greedy. And Holland and the Hawks doing that right now. Arkansas knows what it's like to lose a guy like Tiger. There's a liner by Holt right to third, spear by Bates. That ball would be pushed towards the corner and right. Matulia back, what a grab. Running catch in front of the chain link bullpen fence. Wave it a miss. That's three straight strikeouts, and now six. Of the Just got to start getting some base runners on. That's four straight strikeouts for Holland as he sets down Myers. Seven now in the game with that nose guard on. And Bolton is going to single in the center field for a base hit. Here they major league draft bump that bump that uh, the draft. And that is ball four. So. Single and a pair of walks this inning. Runners take off. Pop up into shallow center. Who wants it though? That's the problem. Got to be the center fielder's ball and Hogarth got there at the last second. Otherwise, that might have cleared the bases. That Cox a hard throwing right hander. You see his numbers right there. Scuffled a little bit in his outings. Giving up the long ball. Big chopper. Holt will glove it. Can't show off that arm. He bobbled it on the exchange. You might think that would be a base hit. Yeah, I think he hurt himself Davis. too. He no, kind of just don't know. It's not it, but when. On the ground to second. Stovall will bobble it too. Instead of a double play or a force, the Hogs don't get it out. Evans drives one a mile down the line and left into the corner. Is this going to stay fair? Yes, it is. Three run homer. And Carson Evans, in his first couple of games as a collegiate athlete, has two homers at Bomb Walker Stadium. And that's the conversation we had about Adcock, that one pitch or one event has kind of affected some of his stat lines. Payoff pitch, that's in, that's ball four. To the pinch hitter, Drost. Bouncing ball to second, can this be two? There's a flip and a throw. And a double play. Just what Adcock and the Hogs needed. And he puts that glove up in front of his face like that. Maybe he didn't. Just plunked Bolton for a free Sweet. base. They were down three to nothing at one point. They were up ten to three at one point. And a hit batter and a walk. And a walk. Ground ball to second. Inns has a chance to get a double play. And Stovall smells an RBI and he beats it. Bolton will score. It's an 11-6 game, and that never works. Off and rolling is Stovall. That's ball four. That is soft chopper. Not going to be an easy play. Fielded by McLeod. Safe at first. Big pitch. That gets away from Evans. To the backstop, free run.
And the payoff pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So Borfin is going to get an RBI. In fact, he's going to get two as Slavens comes home. That's three runs in a blink of an eye. Hard hit. McLeod will scoop it. He's going to throw to third base. That's interesting. It works. They get that lead runner. Hey, Gage Wood, he's got an electric arm. There's no doubt about that. Velocity's there. Liner. Right by Wood. He lost his glove trying to get out of the way. That's a base hit. Strikeout number two for Wood. You can just tell that. Another payoff. Breaking ball. How about that one, Troy? Oh, oh. that was almost like an Ephus curveball. Look at Gage Wood. He is fired up, and that thing had some hang time on that one, Brett. That's an extra 100. Here's Bolton. Ground ball into the hole. That's Ince, the new shortstop. Where was that throw going? Josenberger. Rips one down the line in right. Matuli over. We'll take it on a bounce. Bolton will cruise to third base. Hogs have a couple of runners on base in the eighth. If they both score, would end the game. 15 games. That ball laced to center and hit well. Draws turning and running. He makes the catch against the center field fence. So on a hitless day, Stovall's going to drive in three runs as he gets the sack fly. 3-2 pitch on the way. Little chopper back to Bates. And that will end the inning. So the Hogs get a run, but they strand a pair. We go to the ninth. Yeah, Christian Fouch is a guy that Matt Hobbs really would love to get rolling this season, especially with some of the injuries to that Arkansas staff. Fouch will strike out Bates. Ah, it's just the pitcher that he faced, right? I will say this, and we continue to talk about the new rules really working. See if Roland can make this play. Somewhat of a winless day. He'll make the catch. Troy, yesterday was a two-hour, seven-minute game. So it's one and two. Won't matter now. In the air to center. Josenberger waiting for this one to come down. When it is, the Razorbacks will have swept the Bulldogs. Back and forth game today. Hogs score 15 and get the victory. Well, Brett, this is a really good Louisiana Tech baseball team. They're going to win a lot of games. Like you said, they've been plus 40 wins the last two seasons.